Welcome back to my channel. Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are going to see about this part two of the storytelling about the data. So in the last session, we see about what is meant by storytelling and how that storytelling has been related to the data by the help of different class cultures or anything. Today we are going to see about only what is storytelling with the help of data. See. Storytelling is a structured approach for communicating insights drawn from data and invariably involves a combination of three key elements. These three are the very important things one is in data, visuals and narrative. So what are the three key elements of the data storytelling means? The first key element will be start with the data, second one visual and third one narrative. When the narrative is accomplished with the data, it is to explain the audience what happening in the data and why a particular insight has been generated. In the sense, there are three important things. One is in data, visuals and narrative. How these three are has been interrelated with each and every one. That's what they say. When visuals are applied to the data, they can enlighten the audiences to the insights that they wouldn't perspective without the charts or graphs. See, here they explained with a simple diagram. If you see this diagram, you can able to easily understand. First one, uh, three important key elements of the data storytelling. One is a data, another one is a narrative. First one data, second one is a narrative and third one is a visuals. See, it is like a Venn diagram. Here this data as data and narrative. So the explain is coming here. So we want to give the correct explanations of that data. That is a good narration. Next one, engage. The audience must be engaged with the correct visuals. That is an important thing. We must choose the right visuals. Third one, uh, enlighten. Enlighten means what knowledge that the audience get. That's what with the help of this data. So this visuals has been represented with the help of the data. What knowledge has been represented to the uh, audiences. Third one, last final one, change. See the change has been given here. Finally, when narratives and visuals are merged together, they can engage or even entertain an audience. When you combine the right visuals and narratives with the right data, you have the data story that can influence a drive change. It means it will be used as a good amount of knowledge. That's what. So data storytelling, three important things. One is the data, second one is the narrative, third one is the visual. How these all the three has been interconnected, it has been given in this Venn diagram. Next one, by the numbers, how to tell a great story with the data. See, um, what are the things we are going to say as a story, this story will be interlinked with the data. It has been four steps has been given. First step, get the data and organize the data. So we want to gather the data, the data must be and uh, no redundancy, that means um, no duplicates of the data must be there. So get the data and organize it, visualize the data. We want to visualize the data with the correct chart that is an what the chart is going to be used there if, suppose um, if it is an continuous data uh, we can use the histogram uh, otherwise we, if any um, sensex reports or student mark sheets we can able to use that bar graph or column graph if it is a cricket scores we can able to use the pie graph that was the visualize the data examine data relationship we must be examine that relationship between the data Create a simple narrative embedded in the conflict. Everything here after the getting that data, after writing the narrative, we must give some of the um, conflicts here. The conflicts in the sense, uh, each and every data gets conflict. How we are going to make a resolution with the help of the conflict, it will be comes in the next chapters also. Here we have the four steps. So with the help of these four steps, we can able to tell the great story with the help of data. So what are the four steps means? Get the data and organize the data, visualize the data, examine data relation create a simple narrative embedded with a conflict. They given a simple example here that is a mosquito bone disease in Delhi. So here the dengue, malaria and chicken kinya these are the three diseases which has been come with the uh, mosquitoes. So they has been given with the help of this trending chart here. So you can able to analyze this chart. So how much of the people has been affected by dengue, malaria and chicken kinya. Everything here has been given as a chart. Here in this chart they given the data. Just we are going to find out the relationship between the data. So in the year, how many people has been affected with chicken, kunya, malaria and dengue. See, the chart has been given here uh, clearly. So you can able to analyze the chart also. This is a simple example for data storytelling. 
see here it has been very very important point and last two years it has been asked in our board exam also very simple this one stands for the data second one it is a narrative we can able to say very easily um, so that it is a cylindrical type data storage will be comes only in the form of cylindrical type only so we can able to easily remember it is a data here they give us a pen method so what are the thing we are going to narrate as a story we are going to uh, the word itself comes as a narrative uh, next third one is an here yeah, pie chart so don't write this as a pie chart write it is as a visuals so why because of they given in the representation of the chart so we can able to write it as a visual so three things which has an important in the data storytelling data narrative and visuals these are the three things next one they given one simple example just uh, you can be able to go through this example also conflict and resolution this is an important point um this topic will be not in our class 12 standard it will be in the 11th only but no problem some of the questions can be able to ask me about example regarding to the conflict and resolution each and every story must have a conflict conflict in the sense um, we can able to say a villain also so what the data see the conflict is the most exciting and engaging drive in any story every story or plot is centered on its conflict and the ways in which the characters of the story attempt to resolve the problem conflict is a story is a struggle between two or more opposing forces conflict in a story drives the plot forward towards the resolution so in our life if we are going to get any problems how we are going to overcome with that problem that is known as a conflict and resolution what is data storytelling conflict and resolutions in a business or our daily life the users or audience are trying to resolve a conflict always all decisions have to be made after resolving the conflict every question answered in the data storytelling is by the me of finding evidence of the conflict that's it so uh, in our daily life we are facing lot of problems how we are overcoming that problem see here we have the different types of skills that resolve conflict in data storytelling first one is in communication second one is teamwork if we are working as a team we must have the mutual understanding in our team so that is why teamwork problem solving that is a decision making skills stress management it is a very important thing we must overcome this stress last one is an emotional agility so um everything is an emotions no uh, we must overcome the emotions and these are the skills which has been helped to resolve the conflict in the data storytelling it is an important two more question also what are the skills that resolves conflict in a data storytelling communication teamwork problem solving stress management and emotional agility last one storytelling for the audiences yes um here we have seven points to become an engaging storyteller what are some points engross your audience in your story so if i am going to say any one story my audience must be engaged to me that means they want to listen to the entire story link up with their personal story not only when you are saying the story we can able to relate any others we can able to personal with our personal things i can able to say that uh, in my college education as a professor i do this uh, and my students i learn from my this my students or my students learn from me so this type of personal things we can able to involve create the suspense till the end so if we break the suspense in the starting of the story itself um the story will that that doesn't get any type of thrillers or anything so we must create the suspense till the end of the story bring character to life i like to mention avatar so in this movie they bring the lot of characters i uh, see everything is an imaginary character but they could give the life now so bring characters to the life show don't tell you don't tell the theme of the story but the audience must be understand the theme and they want to say what you are coming to say build up a peak moment it means we want to give the hype to our audience climax should have a positive take away so every climax must be ends with a positive take away so none of the stories must be end in the negative why because of the negative will not be stored in our human brain we already see that it is a pure chemical effect so uh, positive things must be comes here so these are the seven things which has been uh, seven pointers to become an engaging storytellers if you want to become a very good storyteller you just follow up these seven points data storytelling a few elements which without which storytelling is impossible so these are the seven points 
if the seventh point is not there the storytelling is purely impossible what are the seven points first one character who populates the story that is a character is an important thing plot plot means the base otherwise we can able to say that a journal of the story setting where the story take place point of view see there will be a two point of view i am a narrator i will be say in my point of view you are the audience you will be listen in your point of view the both the points must be engaged and it must be go in a straight point that is a point of view styles skills attain for storytelling many people have a lot of style in the storytelling so it is depends upon the pure persons literacy devices now it in the year of 2022 everyone has a mobile or tab or anything so this is a knowledge device even when i am studying the year of 2004 or 2006 there is no mobile or devices uh, that has been there but we doesn't use that we go for the library and we take the book and we get the literacy that is my device here they are saying that knowledge of technology so using the technology we can able to share the knowledge easily so these are the seven things without these seven things the storytelling is impossible first one character every character i mean any stories even if you see um, two brothers in hollywood movie that is a uh, tiger is a main plot that so it is a character so life of pi that uh, that is also a tiger will become see here so the character who populates a story second one plot in which place or in which journal the story has been take place setting so where the story has been take place point of view the both the points next one style um it's a skill attained for and storytelling last one is an literacy devices at which medium the knowledge has been transferred that is known as an literacy devices so these are the um seven key elements uh, which the storytelling is not impossible without these things that's it um we just make an end of our storytelling about data here i make it two parts part 1 and part 2 um, all the class 11 and class 12 students can able to be get benefited by this it is a very easy i would like to make a simple recap first one it starts with a story next what is mean by storytelling and third one what is the class cultures class cultures in the sense um, how we are going to learn the i am getting the knowledge from the different culture peoples and four they started with a data storytelling in the data storytelling it has three key elements starts with a data narrative and visuals and it has been ended with a uh, what can we say is that uh, different plots i mean um, what are the key elements important things seven pointers uh, to become a good engaging storyteller or few elements so these are so ends with a data storytelling only four concepts data storytelling cross culture and data storytelling that's it thank you everyone i will meet you in the next video please do subscribe my channel if you like that video thank you everyone